Hello guys, Dev++ here, my name is Dmitry Omzhensky and today in this video we will learn how to deal with the colors in Angular Material theme, how to configure it properly and we will see which useful helpers provides Angular Material right out of the box. Well, let's get started. Okay, great, but before we start I would like to show you some small changes I did um, recently. So I just got rid of uh, some unnecessary components which uh, really just uh, make things more complicated and we don't really need them. And now we have just toolbar and uh, some user card with a drop down. And of course our dial dark light theme switcher is there and it works as expected. Okay, let's get back to the colors. So I prepared some uh, slides for you. This is the main actually colors uh, in mat Angular Material theme and we will uh, see uh, all of them in action a little bit later. But first of all, let's uh, have a look how the color anatomy looks like. Here you see the colored palette, which consists of uh, 10 variants of primary color. They index it from 50 till 900. And the similar thing we see for secondary color below. We have the four variant, they are indexed with A. And also we see accessible colors. This is the color which uh, represents uh, icon or text which is being used on certain color hex, which is very important for information perception. Let's have a look now how it looks in the code. First of all, we have to navigate to underscore theming CSS. This file lives in uh, node modules, angular material folder. Uh, here we can see the actually um, co color palette. Let's say we have this matte deep orange. You can see that this, uh, this map has the same indexes like we have on this slide. So we can see index 50, index 100, index 200, and yeah, everything is there. And this, um, this represents these indexes on this slide actually. And the same we can see for uh, accent colors. And also we can see this contrast, which is actually our accessible colors from the slide. And if we go back, we see that uh, contrast colors has the same indexes which our uh, color palette has. And it says that uh, for, as example, for index A100 use dark primary text because it's light color and as example for A700 which is dark that would be applied light text. Now let's try to copy this orange color and replace our matte indigo color with deep orange and let's see uh, what will change. So we can see that our primary color has been changed. Our header using actually primary color and it's turn into the orange and uh, the same we can do actually for the uh, accent color and I will grab some matte teal. I don't know if it looks nice with this color but you I just want to show you that yeah that how, how it works so I think you get the idea. You have probably noticed that this matte palette function has some additional parameters and what happens if we add, as example, 700 as a second parameter? Do you see? Our color became darker a little bit. And what happens if we put 100? It became completely light. So this index, it actually represents our default uh, primary color. And by default it 500. And the lighter version is 100, the darker version 700, and we have also the text color, which has some default value, and you can also see some other keys which generate this matte palette. Uh, you can see some default, lighter, darker text, and we will see this, uh, this everything in action a little bit later. For now, let's go back to our style SCSS file and create our completely new 
color palette. For this we will be using some online generator. I will uh, add the link to this generator in the video description. Here you can just, uh, I don't know, put any color you like and it will automatically generate the palette based on your color which you uh, choose and you can uh, click export button and export this exactly in format which we need for Angular Material 2 and we can copy this and paste somewhere uh, under the mat core, copy this variable and pass it into um, our mat palette function and let's see if it works. Yeah, we can see our nice green color here and it works fine so you can uh, this way generate uh, your um, any color you like and yeah that's how it works actually so yeah let, let, let's revert for now this whole changes and yeah let's use again our mats indigo and let's go back to our colors and actually we missed two of them this is a surface and background and they to be honest a little bit mixed up here uh, but anyway i will show you where you can find um, some additional things like uh, additionally to the primary and accent color there is a foreground and background and uh, you can see that um, foreground has different colors for different elements like uh, some, I don't know, hover effects, some dividers color, icons color, text colors and a lot of things you can actually um, open y your theming SCSS file and have a look what actually it has. But you also can configure it if we, as example, um, want to configure our matte gray color for uh, our backgrounds and so on we can copy this here and put actually any color we want and it will repl replace everything with this uh, color which we added and to prove that it works we can just change the color of our card and let's see how it changes its background yeah and Actually, we don't need everything. If we want to override some certain uh, color, we can use it like this. Yeah, just the key what we want to override and the color, and that's pretty much everything what we need. And you you can see that our card got this uh, matte gray 300 color. So that's how it actually works. The last but not least thing I would like to show you is uh, how to reuse some functions from Angular Material and this will be the function um, ma called matte color. Actually uh, what we're doing here we getting the some certain color uh, from our palette yeah, we, we're using uh, mapcat for this, so from our theme we want to fetch primary color and with matte color we want to get the darker variant of this. Oops, that's of course wrong, uh, it should be there and we can see that uh, our background got the darker primary color and if we change it with the light one it will be obviously lighter and also we can use default and now it's like the re our regular uh, primary uh, color and also se for secondary it's applicable as well but not uh, secondary sorry it's accent color and you can see after reload that it works as we expected so that was it i hope you learned something new and if so just hit the subscribe button because a lot of interesting things are coming and you definitely don't want to miss it and guys one more time thank you for your attention and see you in the future